All right, well, get ready to say Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. As many of you know, a follow-up film to the 1988 Michael Keaton film has been rumored and talked about for many years. Last year, director Tim Burton mentioned that he and Michael Keaton have been working on a sequel, and now actress Winona Ryder confirms that a new Beetlejuice is indeed in the works and that she will be a part of it. She said the following, I think I can confirm it because Tim Burton did this interview. It was very hush-hush, top secret, I don't know what may happen, I don't know, and then he was doing some press for Big Eyes and he did an on-camera interview and he said, oh yeah, we're doing it and Winona's going to be in it. So can I say? I mean, if he said it, but I really don't know much more than anybody else. Mark, do you buy or sell them making another Beetlejuice film and Winona Ryder being a part of it? It's showtime. I buy both of these and in a huge way. I'm very excited about the prospect of a new Beetlejuice film for a new generation, seeing Michael Keaton back and now with Winona Ryder too. The story of Lydia Dietz is really the story of Beetlejuice because she was the conduit between these dead people and then maybe summoning Beetlejuice and the rest of the Dietzes who are just this crazy family, hilariously so. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm all on board with this and especially the Tim Burton. He's had some misses recently, but the movie Big Eyes to me showed that he still has a storytelling flair and a directorial ability that's unlike anybody else. Even though it wasn't a classic Burton style of movie, I think it showed that he still has a lot of ability in this realm. This is the right movie to show to show it off again. Yeah, I think Big Eyes was one of those misses. I, I, I really do. I, I was not <laughs> impressed with pretty much anything in Big Eyes. And I was really excited for it. I, I was really, really pumped for that. Um, I am all for, if you're going to do another Beetlejuice, Winona Ryder come back. I think that's the right move. I mm -hmm. actually really like Winona Ryder. I, I know she has her detractors out there, but I always smile a little bit whenever I see her, whether she's Spock's mom or whether she's <laughs> flirting with Zoolander in the back red room at the club or whatever. I like seeing Winona Ryder screen, so that's cool. But as Kevin Smith said in his famous story about Superman, Really, Beetlejuice? Haven't we already kind of said everything we need to say? I, I just, I think I would have been more excited about this if this news was four years out. If this was 1993 or 95 even. I just think the song Too Little Too Late uh, applies here. I, I can't feel any enthusiasm for this. Now watch, first trailer comes out and it'll knock me on my ass and I'll be like, yeah, goosebumps. But uh, as of right now, I feel no enthusiasm about this and I, I can't get excited about a Tim Burton movie anymore either. So I anyway, knew that's just me. What do you think? Well, so I'm somewhere in between the two of you. So, um, you know, I have reservations. I love the movie, the original, like you do, Mark. I, it's one. It's a movie that I grew up on. It's one of those gateway movies into my love of genre, for mm -hmm. that matter. I've been watching it since I was a little kid. I had a little Beetle just pull string doll. Like I had, <laughs> I had all of it. Um, uh, but I think that, you know, there are a couple of um, little teeny red flags here. I think uh, last we heard Seth Graham Smith was one of the screenwriters who was attached to this. Is that still right? I think, believe so, yes. Yeah, and so the gentleman who brought us Dark Shadows. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Um, so that kind of makes me a little nervous. Um, here's the thing, though. I think this could work if the production remembers two things. The first thing is... Michael Keaton was on screen for less than 20 minutes in the original movie. We need to use Beetlejuice sparingly because that is the whole world does not. It's not only just the character of Beetlejuice. It's the Dietzes. It's the afterlife. It's all of these. It's um, the Maitlands. You know, it's all of these types of things. And so I think that that's really important to remember. You have to, you know, be careful. Not too much. Too much is not always better. The other thing I wanted to mention is I hope that the production remembers another part of the charm of the original which was the stop motion and those mm, types of yeah. fun quirky effects like at this point, yes, we know we have the magic of CG, not to harken back to our conversation about CG right. versus digital or practical and all of that, but so much of that charm was this quirky world that was made up of these claymation things, and, and I hope, uh, this would be my wish as a fan, that they kind of stick with that, even though they don't have to. Let's use some practical makeups. Let's use some claymation. Let's use these types of uh, effects and really, really do an honest throwback while continuing the story, but really, really harken back to what made the first movie so magical. Uh, and a little bit of an interesting fact about the original Beetlejuice, uh, the characters of Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis, they died by drowning in that film. Just wanted to, to bring that up. Some of you will know what I'm talking about.